Tonight, we are learning more about the search process for the next superintendent of Columbus City Schools. Dr. Angela Chapman has been interim superintendent since January. Dr. Talisa Dixon announced that she was stepping down in December. NBC4's Eric Halperin is in Columbus with what parents are hoping for. Eric? Jen, I talked with a couple of parents about this today. They say they want to make sure the community is involved in this search process. And the district says there's a plan so input can be shared. We need someone who's absolutely committed and going to bring us up from where we are now. With three kids in Columbus City Schools, Jamila Muhammad says she is closely following the search for the district's next superintendent. First, I'd like to see them search locally instead of, you know, nationally. Hopefully the superintendent is maybe a CCS alum and um, someone who's a little more involved with the community. She says she's looking for someone who's down to earth, will focus on communication with the community and college readiness. Angie Sloan has one child in elementary school and one in high school in Columbus. We need to have more of a connection with our superintendent and have a better understanding of what's going on and like what her plan is for our children or their plan is for our children. At Tuesday night's meeting, the school board approved hiring firms for the nationwide search for CCS's next leader and communications related to it. According to the district, a total of $250,000 is being spent on those firms. I absolutely think parents should be involved. Muhammad and Sloan are both hoping they can be a part of this process. We're right here as parents, like let us use our voices and say, okay, this is a great person. Like, you know what I mean? This person, this is a good candidate. Let's see what they, you know what I mean? Let us vote on that. I feel like we should have more of a voice in what, in who our superintendent is going to be and what we expect from them. And the district says there will be community chances for input throughout the process. The district also just launched a new website for the search. We'll be posting that link on our website, NBC4i.com. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Eric Halpern, NBC4.